Copper's Cove High School student is facing charges after bringing a knife to school today. It was the end of an intense few hours for parents after the school was put on lockdown and then all of these rumors lit up social media about active shooters and hostages. Andrew Moore is live outside Copper's Cove High School to break it all down for us. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, guys, there was plenty of misinformation out there today. One reason students were afraid and they were inside the school texting their parents while at the same time the school had only put out one post at that point on Facebook. So then parents were forming a crowd just outside the school district demanding answers. Students tell us the school went into lockdown around 1140 this morning. The school district claims the lockdown was lifted at 1 p.m., but I was there and I know for a fact parents weren't allowed in until nearly 1.30. But more to the point, they weren't told why they had to wait that long. Police eventually confirmed that they found a student with a knife in his bag and had detained the student, but during the lockdown, no one knew what to believe. There was a door that was slammed that I guess startled my whole class. And then I guess a couple minutes later, people were texting me saying that they heard gunshots. School shooter threatening to blow the school up. This is just what my son's texting in the blue. Okay, so he's just, he's just in, yeah. in the gym? Yeah, he's in the gym locked down. To be clear, police say there was never a gun in the school, but parents are frustrated because they say the school district does have the ability to send out texts to give them information, but they didn't do that here. They just had a total of two posts on Facebook while this event was happening. We did contact the school district to try to ask them why the, those text messages were not used, but they would not answer our questions today. Live in Copper's Cove, Andrew Moore, 6 News.